Hello guys, you know I'm a huge Sutomu Nihei fan and I wanted to keep up on his latest work called Aposims. It's a science fiction post-apocalyptic manga and yeah, it looks great but I realized that the drawing style is really different from his previous work, Abara, and blame on all these super contrast images with raw inking and stuff so yeah it was a little bit of uh, i don't know it was really different for me and i decided to go and do aposims characters on my style so without further ado let's jump into it <laughs> on the other side moloto brand the brand of markers and art tools contact me and want me to try out some of their new products and stuff so they sent me some liners some markers some you're seeing the images i was super grateful that the, that they sent me this stuff they know i use liners like this one and also they send me other stuff thanks arte papel the library that make all the shippings and stuff and yeah i start trying out all the art tools they send me and start drawing that character from the manga Aposims on my style and making like a reference or or trying to emulate Sutomuni Hei's art the, the early way he used to draw the mangas that we all love are Blame and, uh, and Abara so yeah I was trying to get the lines right, the values, and using the art tools that are really, really great. The the liners have a great feel on the hand. They have a matte finish. The, they're made of plastic, and the plastic have a matte finish that feels really good with the hands. And I'm really enjoying this, this drawing so far. With When you have new art tools, there's always great time drawing and yeah, it was great to draw a character that I'm falling in love with, this, like, creature, like, uh, insect armor, and, yeah, I'm having a blast. I'm having fun drawing these, adding details, shadings, and stuff. All the things you, you know I like to do, and at first, when I started reading the manga, it was kind of hard to to get used to the new Tsutomuni Hei style, more clean, more like drawn on a computer, and but the story is good. I'm having fun reading it. It's it has all the things that I like on a story, and yeah, I'm I'm having super fun reading it and 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 knowing about the story and stuff. So here's another. This is the brush pen. It's like a huge marker and I'm filling in some huge black spots on the on the character so here one arm I want it to be like behind the other one and yeah adding like blackout over all the areas leaving some blank spaces where there is like light or reflections of, of light and yeah but really great tools they work together with liners really great so yeah thanks for sending me this stuff also here is masking liquid never heard of this before and yeah i saw some youtube videos how to use it really didn't find much about it but uh, here it is it's really fun it's like masking tape but it's liquid and you apply on the surface where you don't want the ink to to go and then you can use watercolor or ink to fill all the blank spaces and then you're gonna see in a moment with your finger you remove all the stuff so it was really tricky and hard to like paint over the places where i don't want to that i want to leave like like uh, white so was like <laughs> drawing over the light spots and uh, yeah it's what's uh, hard to to get used to it but in the end it, it was really fun and yeah here's the f final masking image and then i use with my toothbrush 
some black ink to splatter some some drops of inks everywhere, like emulating the the raw style of inking that Tsutomuni Hei has on his old mangas. Um, I read some interviews that he stopped doing that because some of the readers complain about don't understanding his his drawings, and I. S why 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 he do this and her, his, his drawings were awesome so good so much detail so much feel on the on the on the landscape on the on the characters and and so much personality and it's i i love inking traditionally so when when i see art done that way like it touched my heart and, and and i became a huge fan of his work because of, of that same reason that i'm a huge fan of of q hayashida and her manga doro hedoro he's awesome that's why i'm collecting die dark her new manga so knowing that he changed his art style to to uh, for some stupid reasons, I, I don't believe it. I think he he wanted to try new things. He wanted to ev evolve and and maybe grow as an artist and, and, and uh, draw faster. Maybe I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas here. And yeah, here's the final piece. You can see all the details and and the blank areas that I get using the masking liquid. It was really really fun and challenging and, and yeah when i'm using new s new tools it's always fun and and, and I, i'm having a great time let me know what you think about this on the comments and if you have some some manga artists that which art style you love the most and uh, yeah i love how this character turned out it i think it looked great what do you think guys so <laughs> <laughs> here's my drawing, here's my take on Apposim's character using Tsutomuni Hei old style, like more raw and, and dust and, and, and traditional ink. So yeah, remember to do all that YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share, and sorry it took me so long to f upload a video, but hope you like it. So cheers!